bacteria, like every other single-celled organism, don't have the luxury, as it were, to have variation with sexual reproduction, as they they reproduce by mitosis. Um, the only variation that bacteria can have, therefore, comes from mutations in a process called conjugation, where plasmid DNA is is transferred from one cell bacteria to another bacteria cell. This happens in a number of steps, the first step being that the conjugation tube, or pilus, forms from the donor cell to the recipient cell, this being the donor cell, this being the recipient cell. Um, then the plasmid DNA starts to replicate and move through the conjugation tube into the recipient cell. The next stage is that the linear, linear strand enters the recipient cell and lastly the linear strand forms a new plasmid. So then you can say that this donor cell has transferred its genetic information into the recipient cell. The reason we know that bacteria does have horizontal gene transmission due to conjugation is because of an experiment where two strains of E. coli were grown. One of them needs methionine and biotin to grow and the other needs leucine and threonine to grow. Now neither of these can produce the the chemicals they need to grow. So when they're placed in a medium which is just like a petri dish with a growth medium in, with none of these supplements there's no growth because they can't attain it in any way. Now they're grown together in a medium that contains both leucine, and, leucine, threonine, methionine and biotin and they're allowed to grow together. Now placed on a medium with all of these supplements they all grow, this shows that it's the same one because you'd expect that with them with the original strains of bacteria because it has the things it needs to grow. However because of conjugation, it, I should probably mention that this one can produce methionine and biotin and this one can produce threonine and leucine. So when they've conjugated and, and swapped DNA as it were, they've gain the ability to produce the things they need to grow, which is why in the medium with none of the supplements, which is the same as this this petri dish, there are a couple of colonies. Now the reason there are only a couple of colonies is because, because there are very few collisions on a small scale, however as there are millions there are quite few collisions. However the, the mass majority don't collide and they still can't produce methionine, biotin, threonine or leucine. But the ones that are the hybrid, as you, if you would, can produce all these supplements so they can grow and form colonies.